Let's take a look at our third program. So if we hit F5 to run it up, we can see that it comes up with a menu. Now the menu says create new file or append to an existing file. So I'm going to hit 1. And notice we have data1.txt and 1.txt from our previous programs. So I'm going to try typing the same name. And notice what it does. It says file already exists. 1.txt file already exists. Hmm. So let's call it prg255.txt. And now it doesn't say it exists because it wasn't in the list. Now I'm going to type in my name, first name, and it's hard to be humble. I got 100%. And then I'm just going to hit 1 to quit. It says press any key to continue. Notice what it does here. It displays my name in the reverse order, first name, last name, and the mark. And it runs out. So let's hit F5 again to run it again. This time I'm going to try again to append. So I'm going to hit number 2 and it gives me these files. Now the only one that makes sense to append to is prg255.txt because data1.txt only has a string in it, 1.txt has a string in it, but prg255 has a structure. So I'm going to say prg255.txt and right now it's showing me what's in the file. So I'm going to say Sally Green, so I'm going to say Green Sally and she happened to get a 78. We also have a Bill Brown, so it's Brown Bill actually got a 98 and that's it. Now if we hit any key to continue it shows us the new people with everything put in here my name with 100, Sally Green with 78 and Bill Brown with 98. And this is a really interesting program because it gives you access to various concepts that you may need in a project that you may want to build later. Let's take a look a little bit at this, just a little bit of stuff that we haven't seen before. Um, notice we have fprint standard error, file already exists, if file pointer not equal to null. So how did we do this? We basically said dir forward slash b, which is bare bones, look at all the text files, show the files first, then scan the name and say, okay, let's open that. Notice it substitutes the name, whatever we typed in for the name here, in read mode. And it says, if the file pointer is not equal to null, which means it exists, then you say file already exists, close it, pause, and go back while the file pointer is not equal to null, which means that the file already exists. So this is part of how this works. So what you should do is go through this program, take a look at instructions you don't understand, and try and figure them out. Now notice what we have here. If you want to create a brand new file, which is option one, you want to write. And again, if you take a look down here, this is the one that does the appending. So based on these basic principles, you should be able to understand this, modify this for your own purposes, and have fun with it.